need to enter then send the email then how to hit save so subject we can say like free ebook for now and send the name you can enter your name and then yeah we can hit save and now over here we can edit all these things again subject now we have to uh, like create the email that uh, that we need to send them so make sure this email is super simple just uh, just say something like hey hey their first name so there are some uh, tags that you can use so if we want uh, the first name to be included in the email we just have to copy this tag and paste it uh, as we need we need the email to contain their first name and a comma this will be red so you can change the color by clicking over here font color make sure it's black because otherwise the name of the uh, person will be red so we don't need that um, so after that we need to enter just say something along the lines like okay, thank you for opting in to receive your free ebook here's the link um, to your ebook and you can include a google drive uh, shared link that way they'll be able to access the ebook and download it that's the main thing you need to do especially with the first email that you're going to send automatically so when you set this up thing up you don't have to send it or write it by yourself the system will send it automatically so that's the good thing about this now you need to keep in mind a few things about the deliverability of this email for example this uh, email if it is uh, a gmail email like this uh, there's a chance that your email to end up in the spam folder instead of the primary inbox folder so it is advised to always use a business email rather than your personal email uh, to increase the deliverability now uh, I'm personally using Google workspace it just costs around five dollars for service to maintain a business email if you don't want to spend that money there's another free option for you to get a business email you, you just have to go to soho.com and over here you can uh, get a business email for free the other thing you have to do is to go to this uh, profile and settings and uh, after that you you have to select this uh, emails there are some fields you need to fill and like this email address and the status is there you have to verify your domain uh, with the dns settings so when you enter the email uh, your business email they will give you a notification and there will be a link to a guide where you can follow and do this verification of this domain and the verification of the business email just follow those steps as mentioned on system and yeah, you'll be able to uh, get these things done after you're done with those things make sure you save it and then you just have to go to uh, funnels again remember last time when we went there there was no campaign so we need we already created a campaign now we just have to add it to the automation rules and then here click this thing occurs when the contact has subscribed to a form we need to add that action again click then we need them to be subscribed to the campaign and then here subscribe subscribe a contact to a cam campaign so over here now if we click this and this row down button now we can see there's a campaign called test campaign we have to select that and then we have to save the rule now whenever a new contact subscribe to with the email and the first name 
an aut automatic email will be sent to the the inbox so yeah after you're done with this next thing we're gonna do is we can view the funnel so this is how it's gonna look like yeah and we're gonna keep it like that and then we have to sign up for beacons account go to beacons.com uh, beacons.ai and then sign up sign in for a new account so i'm gonna choose this thing then we can enter any username now your beacons account is ready okay then you will come to an interface like this you have to enter all your social media links use these things as you prefer if you want you can enter and then the profile photo here you can choose the theme you want to select if you go to link in bio section we'll see all the components here header email sign up and this is how it's gonna look like right so over here when you add social media links all the social media buttons will appear over here so that way when you just post one link because most of the social medias allow only one link to be placed in the bio we can place this link of beacons page that way we can add all the buttons of all the other social media or if you have any other offers you can add buttons as you wish and put the link and that way uh, whoever click the link in the bio can navigate to wherever they want and uh, do whatever they want so uh, if you want to uh, add links you can click links and then you can add a new link so for example let's add a new link now for this url you can add a title we can say like free ebook over there and over here we have to add the url now for the url we have to just copy paste this url of this landing page the one we created we just have to copy that and then go and paste it over here okay now we can we can add a picture also if we want so i'm gonna keep it like this for now now you can see the free ebook button is all already there whenever someone comes to this page and click free ebook they're gonna head over to this funnel funnel page if you just uh, click this link this is how it's, it's gonna look now make sure you add a profile picture and uh, customize the colors as you wish and put the uh, social media buttons as you wish and whenever a visitor comes and see this offer and uh, when they click it they'll be directed to this page so whenever they enter their email and first name over on these fields uh let me show you how it works uh for example i'll put it over here something like this and submit then the next page will come up there is this thank you page we need to uh, design also because we only designed the squeeze page so that's why uh, there is displaying this but we can customize the uh this thing this thank you page over here if we go to funnels and click thank you page and then we can customize it to whatever the template we like i'm going to select this for now now if we see the final step it will look something like this so that way whenever they put the email it will be stored uh, in this section contact section you can see the detail this is the email and that way this email will automatically get that campaign email we created 
and they'll be able 